Hi everybody, just a quick video today to look at a tool within Civil 3D that's going to help us when we perform analysis on our surfaces. Now if you're somebody that's used Civil 3D for a while, you're probably already familiar with a tool called Quick Profile. Uh, what I want to show you today is there's also a tool added I believe in Civil 3D 2017 or 2017.1 uh, tools added to allow us to create quick cross sections. So let me show you how that works. I've got a model here right now that contains a, a surface. I've got uh, within my uh, user interface here, I've got it broken in half into two viewports, one showing the surface, one showing a blank space, just to free up some screen real estate and make it a little easier to demo this command. So let's go ahead and launch the command itself. If I come over into the Civil 3D tool space, under the Toolbox tab, I can come over to Miscellaneous Utilities, underneath Surfaces, and then find the command Quick Cross Section. If I double pick on that, it's going to execute the command itself, which is a fairly long one, which is a little bit easier to find it in the menu than it is to type it in. It's going to ask me first to select the surface, so we'll come up and select that. We'll right click. Next thing it's going to do is it's going to give me two options. I can create these Quick Cross Sections two separate ways. Let's look at 3P first. Basically, we'll create three points. The first point, we'll pick um, one side of the section. We'll pick a point on the other side of the section. And then the last point, we'll pick for direction to show which direction we would like to take and view that section from. So we'll just pick a point on this side. Section view origin. I'll come into my white space here. We'll pick that point. And I'll get a little dialog where I can apply styles for how that section should be displayed. So section style will leave it existing ground. I'm going to set my view style to road section. Not going to have any band set style. We'll click on OK and my section is displayed. So I can see the cross section and much like a quick profile, once it's been created I've got a chance to you know zoom up and evaluate or take a look at the information itself. If we look at the bottom it says print enter or press enter or escape to end the command and delete the section. So I'll just right click and all that information has gone. All right, let's take a look at uh, how we can create cross sections or quick cross sections with the other method. We will double pick on that to execute the command, select surface. We'll pick this one. This one we're going to use multiple. It's going to allow us to create uh, where the 3P would be a single cross section. Multiple will allow us to create multiple sections. I'll go ahead and select that, and then I'll pick some points to define very similar to like what you would consider an alignment. So we'll pick some points to define that. We'll just pick like down through this uh, swale a little bit. Right click when finished. My sampling interval. I'd like to just see some quick sections every 50 feet. I'd maybe like to see for my swath width 100 feet on the left, perhaps another 100 feet on the right. We'll select our point for our view origin. Uh, we will set our view styles once again. Existing ground and road section, no bands. We'll click on OK, and my sections appear. We see in the display up on top with the surface, the line that was created. It also shows um, what we would typically see for our uh, sample lines, but in this case it's a quick section. We're able to perform this analysis without actually creating any geometry in our model. So I can you know, pan across and start to look at these what that information looks like and once again once I've uh, performed my visual inspection I can come back and press enter or escape to end the command and delete the sections so we'll go ahead and right click and those are gone so a very very powerful tool if we wanted to do something like this without the quick cross section command we would literally have to go through and start looking at creating things like alignment and sample lines, view it if we didn't like what we saw or didn't need it then we'd have to go through and remove that from our model um, using the quick cross-section tools to a non-destructive way that we can perform some quick analysis on our surface. So I hope this is helpful, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.